Hello and welcome. Today the topic of discussion is star of Hanoi program in C. So prior to this in uh, video number one we have discussed that uh, what is the procedure of star of Hanoi and we have seen the algorithm of star of Hanoi. Today we'll see how to implement you know star of Hanoi using C language. So we have already discussed uh, these steps that is uh, what what the problem is that there are three poles that is you can see pole number one, pole number two and pole number three and some discs are arranged like this from increasing or from uh, no from increase from decreasing order to increasing order no? that is the smaller one is at the top and the biggest one is at bottom fine so now you have to ski you know you have to move the same arrangement from from pole 1 to pole 3 or pole 1 to pole 2 using the help of pole 2 yeah pole 3 it's it's up to you no fine so but there are two constraints that you can move only one disc at a time that is you cannot move two disc or three disc at a time and you cannot keep the bigger disc on the top of a smaller disc either a smaller can come up of bigger one but you cannot keep bigger on the top of a smaller fine so you have to keep these things in your mind so first what we did in the first step what we did me we move we move the disc from pole 1 to pole 3 this is the step fine in the second step what we did we move the the remaining disc uh, that is the second disc from pole 1 to pole 2 this is the second step no this was the first step this was second step in third step what we did we what we did we move uh, the disc from pole 3 to pole 2 that this is the third step fine in fourth step what we did we move the largest disc no the in largest disc from pole 1 to pole 3 fine and then what we did in fifth step what we did in fifth step we did what we move the which smaller disc from pole 2 to pole 3 then what we did we in fifth, uh, sixth step which is missing we move this disc you know we move this uh, the middle disc on the top of uh, the the largest disc fine this is the sixth step and in seventh step what we did we move this disc you no know, this was the sixth and this is this was the seventh so uh, on seventh we move the smaller one on the top so finally the arrangement we get is this so total number of steps we uh, get uh, we tick uh, we took to solve this problem is seven steps now comes the, uh, we have discussed all these things in uh, previous video now comes the questions that now some now the question is to solve how to solve using c program so we'll start so what we did in function main what we did in function main so let me uh, explain you what we did in function main we have taken two very vari one variable of integer type and three variable of character type this variable is for number of disk and these three variable for pole name name of pole is a b and c we have asked user how many disk you want to solve so enter the number of disk suppose user entered three disks so n is having three value now what uh, we are printing the tower of hanoi of three disk of three disk is we are calling a function tower three a b c that is we are calling so what will happen it will jump to its definition so int with n will have three beginning will have a auxiliary will have b and end will have c that is i already explained you beginning means the starting tower the, the starting pole auxiliary means the middle pole and end means the last pole the name of beginning pole is a now the name of auxiliary pole is b and the name of last pole is c now if the value of n is less than zero that is if there is no disk or zero disk then it is a illegal entry if there is no disk how you will solve it if there is only one disk then what you have to do move disk from beginning to end if there is one disk now i'm i'm i'm, I'm making you no know, i'm making the arrangement so you have an arrangement like this one two three this is pole a uh, let me make it small a small b and small c and you have disk something disk like this so you have disk like this larger than middle one then a smaller one now what you, if you have only one disk now i'm taking example of only one disk so what you will do simply you will move from beginning to end fine there is not an issue but if there are more than one disk now we are taking a case of three disk but if there are more than one disk else if this is false this is also false then it will come here and the function will break in three parts which i have already explained you which i have already explained you already explained you in my in my in my algorithm part but again i'll explain you let's see so it will break in uh, this tower function i am representing this tower as t i'm calling like this 3 a b c but since this condition is false this is false it will break in three part that is it will break in three part tower tower n minus 1 what is the value of n 3 3 minus 1 is 2 from beginning what is beginning a from beginning to beginning what is a then end 
and which is uh, C and auxiliary which is B. No, this is from beginning to auxiliary which I have already told you. No? The first step say move from beginning to auxiliary. First step say move n minus 1 disk, n minus 1 disk from beginning to auxiliary, then 1 disk from auxiliary from beginning to end, beginning to end, then n minus 1 disk from auxiliary to end. Fine, this is what I am doing in third, uh, in all these three steps. Then 1 disk, yes, tower 1 disk from beginning, what is beginning? A. To end, what is end? C. And what is auxiliary? Auxiliary is B. So, I am simply putting in a formula. N minus 1 disk, that is 2 minus 1 is 1. From auxiliary, that is B. To end, that is C. And what is left? A. You can see, simply I am putting in a formula. Now, what will happen? This function will be called first. Out of these three, this function will be called first. Now, what will happen? This N will have 2. Now, beginning will be A. Auxiliary will now be C. And end will now be B. Now, now these things are changed. Beginning is now A. Again will come here. Is N less than 0? No. False. Is N equal to 1? No. And is 2? Will again, this, uh, this function will again break into three parts. But now beginning, end and auxiliary are changed. So, tower 2 minus 1 will become 1. From beginning, beginning is now A. End is now C. Now, end is now B. And auxiliary is now C. Auxiliary is now C. Fine. Then, this will be again break into three parts. Let me make it a three part. Then tower, fine. One from, from what was uh, the second from beginning to end. What is beginning? A. What is end? B. What is uh, left? C. Then tower n minus one, n minus one, this one. From auxiliary, what is auxiliary? B. Uh, one, what is auxiliary here? Auxiliary, you have C. From one, auxiliary C2. And what is end B and what is beginning? I'll keep here. Fine. Okay. Now what happened? Again, I'll call this function. Again, I'll call this function. Fine. Since we have called this function, then we have called this function. And now we are calling this function. So when you will call this function, what will happen? N value will become 1. Beginning is A. Uh, now auxiliary is B and end is C. So it will compare with this. Is n less than 0? No. Is n equal to 1? Yes. Now condition becomes true. Since the condition becomes true now, what will do? It will print. What it will print? Move disk from beginning to end. What is beginning? What is beginning? You have A. What is end? You have thing. So here you will get the output A to C. I'll only put beginning uh, move. I'll not write. I'm not writing move disk from. I'm, I'm only writing from beginning to end. That is A to C. Fine. Okay. Now what will happen? Since this function is over. It will jump to this function. It will call. So what will happen? N value will become 1. Beginning is A. Auxiliary is C. And end is B. No, If you see this function, this function. Now, it will again come. Is N less than 0? No. Is else if N equal to 1? Yes, N is 1. So move from beginning to end. What is beginning? A. What is end? B. So it will print from A to B. It will print from A to B. Fine. Okay. Now, let's see. Again, which function will be called? This function. Okay. So, 1. Beginning is now C. Middle is now A. And is now B. Fine. Okay. So, is N less than 0? No. Is else if N equal to 1? Yes, N is equal to 1. Move from beginning to end. What is beginning? C. What is end? B. So, C to B. So, what we will get from C to B. So, this function is over. All the three functions are over. Since this function is over, I'll jump to this function. Since this is also over, because we have executed all the children of this function, so we'll simply jump to this function. So, what is this function? N value is 1. Beginning is A. Auxiliary is B. And end is C. Fine. Okay. So, what I'll do? I'll simply check. Is N less than 0? No. N is not less than 0. Is N equal to 1? Yes. Move disk from beginning to end. What is beginning A? What is end C? So, it will print. A to C. Fine. Okay. Now, again, what will happen? Uh, this is 2. I am so sorry. This is 2. Na. When you will execute this function, n minus 1, n minus 1. So, this is 2 and this is also 2. Fine. So, what I will do? Again, call this function. So, when I will again call this function, n will become 2. Beginning is B. Auxiliary is A. And end is C. Fine. Okay. And is C. Let me remove all this thing. Okay, it will again check. Is n less than 0? No. Is n equal to 1? No. It will break into three parts, which I have already explained you. 
what is that three from move n minus one disc that is one from beginning what is beginning from beginning to auxiliary beginning to auxiliary what is end c it will come here move one disc from beginning to end what is beginning b what is end c what is left a put here move n minus one disc that is two minus one disc from what from auxiliary to end what is auxiliary a what is end c what is left b fine okay now when you will call this function so again the value of n will become one so what will move it will move from this beginning to end what is beginning b to a then b to c then you will print b uh, a to c a to c now you check that is these steps are correct now a to c you will move from a to c smaller one then from a to b the second will come here then from c to b this is smaller will come here from here then a to c a to c this means the largest will come to the c then from b to a this this will come here fine then from b to c this will come from here to here then from a to c a to c the last one yes finally you get the same arrangement so this program is exactly working fine so this is all recursion this is all 